Now standing by, Vivek is first joining in to talk about LNT. We have a note this morning, Vivek, right, from UBS, I think, and they've sounded a really optimistic uh, note on this, and the price target is, what, above 3,600? What, what is UBS saying? Well, you're absolutely right. You know, like we've been highlighting, you know, how the opportunity size for LNT is constantly increasing. And, you know, this is what UBS2 has taken note of. And like you mentioned, you know, the target price is quite steep in from the current levels. So they've continued to maintain their buy rating. Target price has been raised to 3,600 rupees. Earlier, their target price was close to 3,000 rupees. What are they saying? They're saying that, number one, LNT at this point of time has a PNL that is cyclically positioned very well. Along with that, the company's focus on stakeholder value creation as well as growth appetite is something that they like. What they're also saying is that the new strategy ensures LNT's appetite for consistent new order growth, especially from the export markets. Now, remember, GCC is doing quite well on the back of higher oil prices, and the company has been getting quite large order wins from the GCC market. So this is also something that UBS likes at this point of time. What they're saying, they're expecting LNT to record healthy 17 to 32 percent CAGR growth respectively in the core sales and EPS from FY23 to FY26. Along with that, what they are saying at this point of time, consensus is worried given the fact that near-term elections are pending in India, but they continue to see robust order books and prospects from the overseas market. They believe that the cyclical earnings momentum, improving capital allocation, make the company a better play, especially in the infra and capped goods space. Thank you very much for 